or not over there? Yeah, this this was a a, a trouble, but we 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 get it. I I can't hear you, girl. Sorry, I saw you that it was a trouble. Uh, the the theme of the audios, but we get it. Maybe it's like a short circuit over there. <laughs> no. Maybe, I don't know. You can hear me now? Hello, hello everyone. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hi, teacher. how are you? How are you everyone? Fine. Sandra, uh, we don't hear you, Sandra. I can't <laughs> I guess, hear you, teacher. Uh, uh, everyone can hear me. I guess it's just you, Sandra. Mm -hmm. can, can, you, can you chat in the, can you give me the text, uh, give a text in the chat and tell Sandra that, that, we, that all of you can hear me, but she's the one who cannot hear me. Oh my God, <laughs> I can't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe I will change. Uh -huh. Everyone can hear me. Except yes, you, teacher. Sandra. Okay. Okay, welcome, 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 Sandra. Welcome, Judith. Uh, welcome, Janet. Joanne, it's good to oh, see you. Here. Welcome, Sara. Oh, welcome, evening, Angel. Welcome, Diego. Welcome, Joaquin. <laughs> Uh, welcome, Saul. I'm gonna change. Okay. Hi, uh, hi. Uh, all right, and welcome, and welcome, Eunice and Sarah. All right, so uh, welcome, Vasilia. It's good to see you one more time after a long time. I feel like it was yesterday uh, when I when the job. last time we met. When was the last time we met? The last week. <laughs> yes, that was last week. Uh, I apologize. I couldn't join uh, the last two classes, but as you might know, well, I'm a happy father right now because my little daughter just, uh, she was born yesterday. So you can imagine how happy and sleepy I am. Okay. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Very congratulations, so, teacher. Yeah, so she's with us now and she's sleeping. Yeah, she's sleeping right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right so it's good to see you all um thank you for your um for understanding and uh we are going to since we are missing two sections you know right that we are missing two sections the last day and i'm gonna say this in spanish so that it can be clearer um el último día de, de este módulo cuando es el último día de este módulo um, alguien me puede decir el viernes 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 Next week? Es la próxima semana, el final de este módulo es el 10 de febrero, si no me equivoco. Let me see. Yes, que es el otro jueves. Pero, como en nuestro caso, no hemos, que, um, no hemos terminado, hemos perdido dos sesiones, que sería la de lunes y la de ayer, pues nos vamos a extender hasta el día 14. Lunes 14. ¿Ok? Lunes 14. Okay. Ok, solo déjenme de hablar con los, um, con los, ¿qué? Con, con los uh, encargados, porque creería yo que el viernes, uh, el viernes, que El viernes 2, el viernes 11, nos reuniríamos solo por una hora para, para cubrir el día lunes y el lunes 14 nos uniríamos solo para cubrir el día de ayer. Aunque... Digamos, si ustedes pudieran el día viernes dos horas, un solo, a seguido, pues lo hacemos. And we don't meet okay. on, on Monday. But let me talk to the supervisor. And it depends on what he says. I'm going to let you know. Okay? Okay. All right. So, so thank you for understanding. I apologize one more time for that. And um, uh, I hope uh, you are doing all right. So how was your weekend? How was your weekend? Yeah, very funny. Funny? Why, Joanny? What do you do? Where do you go? Mm -hmm. Well, it was uh, 
many things happen and all that things uh, I think I would say this in Spanish. Creo que muchas cosas eh, salieron de una manera inesperada, uh, unexpected things, y, pero salieron bien gracias a Dios. Entonces, oh, okay. Todo. Okay, good. So we have uh, Sandra back, which is good. Sandra, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to change to the second floor. <laughs> ah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, thank you. Uh, welcome. Okay, um, Adriana, it's good to see you. Fatima as well. We have Fatima Karina and we have Fatima Abigail. Also, we have Rosa Maria del Carmen. I mean, Rosa Maria. Uh, we have Stephanie Carolina, Diego Arturo as well. All right. So who else can share about your weekend? I know today is Wednesday. I know. And I'm asking about your weekend because the last time we met that was last Thursday. So oh, you can tell me how was your day today? How was your day? What do you do? Um, I'm, I'm resting. Uh, yeah, that home. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Annette. Who else? I cleaning. I cleaning my house. Oh, you were cleaning your house. Yes. So, um, how many hours do you clean? How many hours? Um, two hours. In the morning or in the afternoon? In the morning. Oh, okay. How about you, Eunice? How was your day, Eunice Ramirez? My day is very stressful because in the morning I help uh, my sister with her class. Oh, okay, okay, good. So your your day was very stressful. Okay, nice. Thank you. Uh, let me see, Judith. How was your uh, day, Judith? My day it was um, busy because I have to. Uh, do I have to do homeworks all day? Oh, nice, nice, very nice. Yes, very nice. Okay, uh, welcome, Elsie. It's good to see you. Elsie, are you there? Elsie, okay, yes, I am. Uh, okay, I am here. okay, good, good. Okay, so uh, we are going to, I'm going to start sharing screen. Let me see. I'm going to share. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes, awesome. Teacher. Oh, awesome. Okay, good. All right. So today is uh, February um, the 2nd. So Second. yesterday, yesterday was February the 1st. And tomorrow will be February the 3rd. All right. The 3rd. All right, good. This is the agenda that I have um, that I have about uh, about to uh, to work on today. Uh, introduction. We're gonna be. Uh, I'm going to be introducing the topic, and the topic is past experiences. So we're going to be talking about some past experiences, and also we are going to be comparing uh, some activities that are not completed yet. All right. Okay, then we're gonna have a warm up activity. L later, we're gonna be talking about exotic food. That means um, food that is very different and probably we had tried and maybe it's not very common that people eat that kind of food. All right, so and then we're gonna be talking about yesterday, uh, an activity we're gonna be working on that activity on number five and then practice, all right. So what's the main objective for today's lesson? By the end of the class, a student will practice, uh, uh, will practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever, right? For example, have you ever eaten octopus? Have you ever gone to Mexico? Have you ever um, spoken another language to or have you ever spoken English 
to a foreigner, okay, etc. And describing your past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. Okay, good. All right, so let's review about what we learned last week. Okay, so who can tell me some things that you learned last week? What do you learn? Hello, hello, hello. I wish. Oh, wishes. Yes. Yeah. Can anybody mention an example with wishes? My parents uh, will not buy a car for me. I wish they will buy a car for me. Oh, okay. I wish they would buy a car for me. Good. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Sandra. Okay, anyone else? I wish I could buy a new uh, house. Oh, okay, good, good. Next. I wish I could travel to the world. Oh, nice. Around the world. Thank you, Rosa Maria. Who, el yeah. who, who else? I wish I could play the piano. Oh, I wish I could play the piano. Good example. Somebody else? I wish I had money by a new car. Okay. I wish I what? I wish I? I wish I wish have money. I wish I? I money. Hmm. I wish I money or I wish I wish I, I have money. Good. Very good. Yes. I wish I had money to to what? To what so? To buy buy my new car. <laughs> okay, I wish I have money to buy a new car. Thank you so much. Okay, what else? What else did we learn last week? ¿Qué más aprendimos? Besides wishes. Comparisons with adjectives and nouns. Yes, we were uh, comparing, exactly. We were comparing adjectives between, uh, especially since we were talking, uh, we were learning how to describe our houses. Do you remember? Yeah, of course. Comparisons uh, about houses and departments. Right, right. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Me puede mencionar a alguien o puede escribir en el chat? Can you type in the chat a sentence uh, comparing houses and apartments? Remember that we, uh, we did something like as as, do you remember that? As as, enough, too yeah. small. Ok, can you type in the chat a sentence using that? Okay. I learned last week uh, non countable and countable. Yes, countable and uncountable nouns. Good, good. But I want you, everyone, type in the chat, type in the chat a sentence where you are comparing a house in an apartment. Okay, let me see the chat. Housing aren't as convenient as apartments. Good. Okay, let me see another example. My neighbor's house is as safe as mine. Good. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Good. Good example. Someone else? Someone else? One more example, please, and then I'm going to move on to an activity that I have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, all right. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So 
um, all right, let me check this out. Okay, so what, what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna play an activity and the name is, uh, have you ever? Okay, let me see the chat. I can see somebody type, apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Good example. Apartments don't have uh, as many rooms as houses. Good. Thank you, Giovanni. All right. So let's play a, a, a warm up activity right now. And uh, this is the, what we're going to be doing. We're about to play a game. Uh, let me see the chat. Joaquin says, My house is as convenient as your, uh, as your apartment. Thank you. Okay, the warm up. We are about to play a game. You will need to open your camera if your answer is yes to the question I ask. For example, if I ask, have you ever been to Guatemala? If you have been to Guatemala, you need to turn on your camera. But if you haven't been to Guatemala, keep your camera off okay let me check the chat let me check the chat apartments violeta apartment apartments don't have as big gardens as houses stephanie carolina says my apartment is as small as her house okay is okay thank you is that clear about the game that we're gonna play is that clear is that clear Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, vamos a ver. Let me see. Everyone, uh, we are going to do. Uh, we are going to try the activity right now. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question, and if your answer is yes, you will need to open your camera. But if your answer is no, you don't need to open your cameras. Okay. Yes? Okay. Vamos yes, a ver. Sir. Todos con las cámaras apagadas. Let's see. Vamos a probar. Let's try it out. Joaquin, turn off your camera, Joaquin. Okay, good. Okay, the first question is Do you like pupusas? Okay, good. Good. Okay. Next, turn it off and next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever eaten sushi? Sushi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sushi. Only Violeta, Janet, Adriana, Giovanni, Elsie, Joaquin, and Angel. Okay. Okay. Next, next, next. Joaquin, turn, turn on your camera, turn off your camera. Okay, next. Have you ever been on TV? Whoa, I have famous people in here. I got Adriana, Violeta, Sara Quintanilla, Diego, Giovanni, Janet. Okay, tell me about it. Quiero escucharlo, El Saúl. So tell me your experiences on TV. Wow, maybe you're a famous person and I don't know you. Uh -huh. Maybe you went like bailando por un sueño a long time ago. I don't know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell me. Vamos a ver. Cuéntame sus experiencias on TV. Well, in my case, uh, when I started at high school, I needed points for, for my hours. Um, Social hours and uh -huh. the, the, the teacher tell me, Violet, if you go, to, you will go. Uh, Domingo para todos. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I give you uh, the uh, 15 hours in your, in 50 hours, sorry, in your page and me. I need you these hours. And well, <laughs> I didn't have other, other options. Oh, and yet good. I, I went to Domingo para Todos and I danced. I can't dance. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you went to Domingo para Todos and you danced. But I can't dance. 
Okay, okay, thank you. Adriana, your experience. When I was a child with my, um, with my school, just that, no, <laughs> we okay. have another experience. Of it. Okay, no, that's right, Janet. Thank you, thank you, Adriana. Janet. In my case, uh, I I was in Domingo para Todos too. Oh, you too. But with my team of of the church. So oh, okay. youngs of the church and I be I be there. Okay. I, I, I was there. Okay, good. Okay, Diego, I saw you turned on your camera, Diego. Diego Arturo Gutierrez. Diego. Okay, don't be shy, Diego. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, turn it off. Todo, vamos a hacer el último right now, okay? Turn it off. Okay, vamos a ver. Let's see, okay. Have you ever... Oh, this is a good one. Have you ever met a very famous person? Have you met a famous person? Can you repeat? Have you met, meet, met? Have you met a famous person? Okay. Giovanni, okay, Giovanni. Who have you met to? Well, I think he's... I think he he deserved it, uh, Jorge El Magico Gonzalez. I think he deserved to be called a, a famous. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you, Giovanni. What about you, Adriana? I met the ambassador of the Union, uh, European uh, Union. Not, I don't know if for you is a famous person. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, he, he might, I mean, it's... um. It's in the same category. For example, politicians, uh, actors and actresses, musicians, they're in the same um, category. They are famous. What about you, Sandra? What about you, Sandra? Who have you met to? Well, I met uh, the, um, the wife. The what? Ambassador, ambassador's wife of the United States. Oh, OK. But here in El Salvador, of course. And also, I met Jorge Ortiz de Pinedo. Who is he? El Dr. Candido Perez. <laughs> Who is he? It's a comedian. Oh, okay, Dr. Candido uh, Perez. Yeah. It sounds, for some reason, it sounds familiar for me, Candido Perez, but I don't know. It's <laughs> yeah. kind of familiar for me. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Good. Thank you so much for having participated. All right. I can see that I have more people. Uh, I, ha I have Joaquin, Angel, Elsie. Well, I have more people now. All right. Good. All right. So let me continue. Uh, we are going to continue with uh, our today's class and topic. And uh, it's food vocabulary. Go to the chat and type the words that you know about food. Go right now, go to the chat and type the words that you know about food, okay? Okay, let me read. Apples, okay, apples, okay. Orange chicken, hamburger. Hamburger, hamburger. Okay, hamburger, uh-huh. Pizza, fish, french fries, good. What about more, more, I need more. Banana, fish, meat vegetable, oranges, onions, rice, potatoes. Good. What else? What else? Fish, popcorn, cabbage, cucumber. Good. Avocado. Avocado. Good. That's a good one. Celery, watermelon. Good. Meat. Good. Salad, garlic. Okay. Squid. Okay. Squid. Is it sounds like tasty, mm, delicious squid mm -hmm. yogurt, yogurt, nice. What else? What else? Tell me more, more, more. Oh, whoa, okay. I got potatoes, a little bit of melon, onions, bananas, etc. Hot dog, good ice cream, good. Okay, 
All right, Coco, Coco, okay. Okay, soup. Oh, okay. Cucumber, hot juice. Okay, hot juice. I don't know what hot juice is, but okay. I, I think it's good, I guess, right? Tomato, cake. Okay, good. Cash. Ca okay, yes, those are good ones. Yes, Sandra. Almonds. Nice. They are, they are good too. Broccoli, broccoli, broccoli. Okay. Nice. Okay. So what we're going to do right now is, as you can see, um, I have uh, I have uh, some vocabulary here about food. All right. I had steak, salad, soup, cake, cheese, hot dog, pizza, spaghetti, chicken, French fries, etc. All right. So let me see, uh, Joaquin, what's your favorite food, Joaquin? Your micro microphone is off. My favorite food is um, beans. <laughs> beans, okay. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, uh, let me see, um, uh, Judith. What's your favorite food, Judith? My favorite food is chow mein. Chow mein, okay, good. Yes. Oh, that, that's good. Okay, let me see. Um, Stephanie Carolina, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is chicken, teacher. What kind of chicken? I mean, like, because uh, there are there, uh, there, there are different uh, types of uh, chicken. Uh, right? Okay, okay, okay. It's like, uh, let me see that word for that. I'm looking for it's uh, like in barbecue. You mean like in barbecue? Mm -hmm. Well, not really like okay. in barbecue, but it's kind of uh, yeah, grilled. I was looking for that word, grilled. Yes, grilled. Okay. Like, okay. Uh, and then you can add pepper. Um, jalapeño sometimes people add jalapeño when they um they grill the chicken okay good good uh what about you sandra what's your favorite food my favorite food is da, 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 the chicken oh wow okay like chicken soup chicken soup and uh, i like to well there is a a, a kind of rice uh, that is called the uh, peruvian rice and all there is 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 mixed with a, with a little pieces of uh, of chicken, chicken. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and with broccoli and mm -hmm. with carrot and also with uh, whiskey. I don't know how to say whiskey in English. Mm -hmm. And and also it has a cape of of a uh, of a uh, queso rallado cheese. Okay. Rallado cheese. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Very delicious. Yeah. All right. Uh, where have you where have you uh, got that kind of uh, rice, um, Sandra? Where? Well, I, I went with with my friends to a restaurant, and over there I copied the the, the Where? 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 Here in El Salvador. Here in really? Salvador. Really? I yeah. never I never try a uh, Peruvian rice, but I, I mean here in El Salvador, right? I had tried like. A, in Peru or in the United States, but not really here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. But but because there is there is a couple that we know uh, that he lives in the same uh, neighborhood than my than my stepsons. Oh, and, and over there he prepared it, and I copied the recipe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. That's nice. Okay, let me see, uh, Sara Quintanilla. What is your favorite food, Sara Quintanilla? My favorite food is fish fried, uh -huh. and rice, uh -huh. and salad. Oh, okay, okay, good. She likes, uh, um, you said, you said, uh, can you repeat it again? I just, it went to, uh, from my mind. Can you repeat it? What is your favorite food? Fish, Fred. Oh, okay. 
French fries. Okay, French fries. Good. What else? Or fish. Oh, you said fry. fish. 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 Oh, okay. Fish fry. Fish fry. Mm -hmm. Rice. Rice. Salad. Okay. And salad. Okay, good. And salad. Okay. Salad. salad. Nice. That's Thank a good combination. That's a good combination, Sarah. Okay. What about exotic food? Tell me one exotic food that you have eaten. Exotic Oct food. Octopus. Octopus? Okay. What else? I don't like. I don't like. Okay. Tell I me. Ate, huh? Okay. Sorry. What? Uh, I ate baby octopus. Oh, like in a mariscada, right? A mariscada? Yes. Yeah. yeah. In a in a in a kind of uh, Chinese rice. Oh, sure. Yes. Uh, when I was a I was a child, I ate um, garrobo. Oh. In the West. Okay. Okay, garrobo soup. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's an exotic food. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What else is exotic? When I Besides, was a oh. child, uh, I I also ate um, venado. Oh, deer. 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 Okay. Yeah. Wow. Have you ever tried wasalo? <laughs> Do you know what wasalo is? No. No? No. In no. English, okay. Do you, I, you know, I, I, I guess it's because here in the South, uh, here in Murasan, we call it um, wasalo, but the real name is sariwaya. You know the sariwaya, right? Yes. yes. Ah. Yes. Ah. It's, it's not. That poor ah. is an animal, right? Okay. Here in San Salvador, we say you, you eat. Uh, yeah. Uh, here in Morazan, okay. In English, it's possum, by the way. I, I just type it there possum, possum. That is in English. So here in Morazan, um, people kill uh, wasalos, possums. Or, or sariwaya or whatever you call it over there. Takwasing. So, takwasing. Uh, people kill them <laughs> because they go at night or in the morning. They go because, you know, uh, we live in the countryside and in the countryside, we have a lot of chickens, hens, like, ah, cuck, 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 cuck. so oh, yeah. at, they, uh, they sleep in a tree on the branches of trees. So at night, possums, all the time, they are they go to the, the to the different branches to eat the chickens, and of course we kill them all because we don't want them to kill our hens, our chickens. ¿Y qué creen? Se comen en sopa. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and they, you and have they, a, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, Violeta. You have a it's um how do you say teeth? In, in armadillo and kusuko? Oh, kusuko. Mm, let me see. I'm pretty sure I have tried it before, but I know. I, I hate it. Oh, it's good. It's good. Isn't it? Uh, okay. What about, have you, okay, let me ask you, kids, since we are talking about exotic food, have you ever tried <laughs> tepesquintle? Tepesquintle? <laughs> No. no, never. What is? <laughs> oh, what is tepesquintle? Does anybody know what tepesquintle is? Or nobody it's knows? Like a, I know. It's like a it's rice. Like a wild, it's like a wild pig. Right. Mm, <laughs> not really like Same a really. pig. Uh, do you have a picture? Uh huh. No, I don't. <laughs> it's like a rabbit or like a rabbit, and the tail oh, is very, without tail, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, like a taltusa. Aha, uh -huh, like the like the pelcus. What is it? What's the name? Taltusa. Taltusa. Uh, taltusa. Okay. Yeah, similar to that. Okay, similar to that. All right. Good. So let me see. Let's move on. Okay. So we have been working and talking about simple past activity things that we have done before, things that we had tried before, etc. All right, so today 
I know I'm not going to take a lot of time because this is not new for you, right? The simple past. You know, when we express activities that happened in that specific time, we need to use the simple past. For example, when we have some time expressions to refer or to use when we are using the simple past, such as yesterday, five minutes ago, in 2000, the other day, last month, last week, last year, etc. When we are using um, simple past, most of the time we use time expressions. They help us to, to our sentence so that our sentence can have a complete meaning. For example, I went to the park yesterday. I studied in China in 2010. All right. Si ustedes pueden ver uh, cuál es la time expression that I'm using in the sentence. I went to the park yesterday. What is the, the time expression? Yesterday. 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 Yes. Yeah. Do I need, well, sometimes I need it to be like clearer and sometimes I don't really need it. Por ejemplo, si yo dijera, I went to the park. Okay. I, was, I went to the park. Good. I don't need to know sometimes. I don't need to know when you go or when you went in this case, all right? Pero si le agregamos el time expressions, la oración tiene mejor sentido, okay? Y el mensaje, it's clear, okay? Look at the, look at the other example. I studied in China. Si yo no quisiera decir cuándo, yo solo digo, I studied in China. And then I say, okay, good, good. But if I want to be clear, in specific, I would say, I studied in China in 2010. Okay? Con simple pass, simple pass, or I mean, el, uh, simple pass, we are clear, right? O pass simple, estamos claros con ese? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, what about the other one? The present perfect. Okay, the present perfect. Okay, when we are using present perfect, we don't specify the time, okay? Unless, al menos que utilizamos la palabra since. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, I have been a teacher since 2014. Si estoy utilizando la palabra since, of course, tengo que mencionar el año. Pero si no estoy utilizando la palabra since, Vamos a ver, se la voy a escribir acá. Since. Ok, let me see. La palabra since. Look at the example. Si yo utilizara la palabra since, I have to include the time. Por ejemplo, I have uh, studied English since 2000, what, 2009. See, look at the example. I have studied English since 2009. Okay. I have studied English since 2009. All right. So, but if I said, I have eaten tepes quintlet. See? Look at the example. I have eaten tepes quintle. In that case, I'm not mentioning the time. Why? Because it's not necessary. It's not important. Okay? Lo que yo quiero decir es que he comido tepes quintle y punto. All right? I don't mention the time. But unless, unless, unless if I want to be clear, for example, I can say, I have eaten tepes quintle since I was a child. ¿Sí? Desde que era un niño he estado comiendo o he comido tepes quintle. Okay? All right. So, uh, can you tell me another yes. sentence yeah. using uh, present perfect? Another? Look at, okay. Let's go first to the, uh, to the explanation that I have here. And then later you can give me your own examples. Okay. Okay, look at this. 
sometimes we, we need these words and we know that sometimes when we are using those words, uh, we are using the present perfect. For example, ever, never. Have you ever visited uh, Esquipulas, for example? Have you ever visited Esquipulas? Or have you ever been to Guatemala, etc.? Okay, look at the other one. Not, not yet, already, so far, to date, till now, up to the present. Look at the examples. I've never gone to the park. I never gone to the park. I haven't been to China yet. Okay, look at this other example. Uh, can you type an example in the chat? Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I'm gonna type my, I have, I have read the little prince twice. See, look at my example. I have read the little prince twice. El Principito, the book. Okay, I have read The Little Prince twice. Okay, tell me something that you have done before or you have uh, experienced before. Okay. Okay, por favor, denme una oración. Vamos a ver si, si you can manage the topic. I have worked as an administrative assistant at the European Embassy. Good example. Thank you. You're mm -hmm. welcome. Mm -hmm. What else? Give me another example. I have been to Mexico. Good. Good example, Saul. Okay. Who else? I have never gone out of our country. All right. So maybe uh, let me stop a little bit and I'm going to go to the next one. And I guess it's because this is very important. Remember, when we use um, the simple past, it's because the action is completed. Okay, look at this example. Okay. I bought this car last week. Okay, look at the other one. However, when I use the when I use the present perfect actions, which happened in an indefinite time in the past and with visible results in the present. For example, I have lost my key. See, I can find it now. Have you seen N? She's not here now. Okay, good. So how kind or what kind of questions or what is the, the, the structure grammatical that we need to ask questions with the present perfect? Here it is. Uh, I need one volunteer. Let me see. Vamos a ver a quién seleccionamos. Vilma Lisette Leiva. Vilma. Can you read this for me, please, Vilma? Vilma? Hello, Vilma? Hello. Okay, can you read this for me? Use the simple past. Use one. the simple past for complete event at a definite time in the past. Good, the next one. Use the what? Use the present perfect for even with with quitting a time period of up to the present. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vilma. Yes. What it says here is that we can use the simple past for complete events at a definite time in the past. Okay. However, we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present. Thank you so much, Vilma. Okay, look at these questions. Okay, let me stop here and I'm going to um, do something here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Teacher. Yes. The video that you said that we have to watch, it was very, uh, very important because right. over there, uh, they explained so many things about the right. yeah. past tense yeah. and the perfect, in the perfect right. present, present perfect. perfect and past perfect, yeah. yes. Okay, yes, yeah. good. Yeah. All right. So if you see here, uh, can you see uh, the screen? Yes? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. So when we have, uh, let me see, I'm going to type an example here. Look at the example. How can, how can I ask a question, for example, uh, ¿cómo hacemos pregunta um, para, para saber qué acciones han hecho, para saber qué cosas han comido? ¿Cómo hacemos esa pregunta? Just no questions. Look at here. Yes, we have have or has, right? Hagamos una con ah. have. Have, have you ever seen the rain? Have, have, have you ever seen the rain? Okay, listen. Have the kind of verb, el verbo va a ir en qué? En pasado participio. Okay, so that would be, have you ever seen. what? Seen. Hmm? seen the have rain. you ever had Indian food? Have you ever seen the lake? Okay. Okay. Okay, the lake. Good. Give me another example. Have you, have you what? Have you ever, ever seen? What? Seen. Give me another Have you ever word. been to Canada? Oh, have you ever been to Canada? Okay, good. Give me another example. Have you? Okay, no, no, no. Have I'm going to ever... change it. I'm going to change it. Okay, has. Has. Has she? Has she? Good. Has she? Ever. Ever. Eating the beans. <laughs> okay. Eating the beans. Okay. Good. Has she ever eaten the beans? Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Another example. Let me see. Vamos a ver. Another example. Have is you? He? Have you? Is he? No. I don't need is he. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you what? Have you ever spoken? Have you ever spoken the Germany? Have you ever spoken Germany? German. German. Have you ever spoken German? Alemán. German. Yes. Okay. Have you ever spoken German? Okay. So, vamos al chat ahora. Quiero que me ayuden a, a escribir oraciones con have you ever. Imagine, okay, listen, 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 listen. Imagine, uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Imagine you meet, uh, let me see. Imaginen que están conociendo ahorita a quién. Let me see. A Jennifer Lopez, okay. Jennifer Lopez. Imagine you see Jennifer Lopez, Lopez and you want to ask questions with have you. What kind of question would you ask her? A Jennifer Lopez. Vamos, vamos a ver. ¿Qué pregunta le dirían a Jennifer Lopez? Uh -huh. Utilizando have you. Oh. Uh -huh. Have you ever had a, a boy? A, a, a child? Okay, type in the chat. Type it in the chat. Okay, okay. now Giovanni dice, have you ever been in El Salvador? Okay. <laughs> Good question. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Sorry. In the chat, please. Vamos a ver. Imagine, que, imagine you are meeting. Um, okay. Have you ever had a child? Ah, okay. Have you ever taken dance classes? Good question. Imagine, que, you, imagine you are meeting um, J-Lo, J-Lo, Jennifer Lopez for the first time. Have you ever, hmm, Adriana, have you ever goes? What is the simple past? I mean, this the past participle. Gone. Okay. Gone. Good. Gone. Mm. Have you ever eaten beans? Okay. <laughs> I like that one, Fatima. Have you ever eaten pupusas? Okay. Yes, that would be a good. Okay, Janet. Have you ever sung in Portuguese? Good. 
Adriana, have you ever been to Tha gone to Thailand? Okay, let me see. Oh, Saul, have you ever driven dri driving a Mercedes? Okay. <laughs> Basilia, have you ever cooked? Good. Have you ever drunk a beer? Good question, Diego. Adriana, have you ever gone? Okay, good. To Thailand. All right, one more. Now, imagine you are meeting uh, Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. ¿Qué pregunta le harían a Mark Anthony? Okay. Imagine you are meeting a... Uh, I have you ever... Okay. Ángel, si es... Acuérdense, como estamos haciendo preguntas, no necesitamos yeah. el I, okay? No necesitamos el I en okay. esa Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Solo, have you ever spoken Italian? Oh, Sandra, let me see the question. If you, if you were meeting um, um, Mark Anthony, have you ever been married? Have yes. you seen your movies many times? Good. Have you ever danced cumbia? Good question. Have you ever gone to Korea? Good. Have you ever had a pet? Nice. Okay. Okay, vamos a hacer, uh, let's play a game right now before we go. All right, let me see. Okay, we're going to play a game right now. Can you see my screen? Pueden ver mi, mi, mi screen? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're going to play a game right now. Do you see what, do you, do you see what I have right now? Yes? Yes. We are we are seeing the the different colors. The the, the screen of, no no the, the screen of the of the class. Oh okay. Wait, 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 wait. We only see PowerPoint. Okay, good. Okay, give me a second. Okay, here I go. Let me share it right now. Here I am. What about now? Can you see my screen? No. No. Loading. Oh okay. Oh it now is. It. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. So we're gonna play a game. Let me do the example, okay? I'm going to spin it. And then I'm going to ask a question. Using, have you ever, look, look at the example here. Have you ever, and then here it says go to China. Pero como acuérdense que el verbo va en pasado participio, no, no, voy a decir, I'm not going to say, have you ever go to China? I would say, have you ever gone, have you ever gone to, to China? China? Good. Okay. Good. Is that clear? Yes, yes. it is. Okay. So, me tienen que hacer la pregunta. Okay. Uh, eliminate. I don't need that one. Next. Question, what is the question? Tell me the question. Have dream. you ever have dream you ever, have you ever dream? Have you ever, have you ever dream? dream? Okay, have, have you, you ever dream? dream? Okay, dreamed. Okay, dream. have you ever dreamed something that you could do? And okay, something that you could do. Alguna dream. vez has soñado algo que tú podías hacer? Yeah. Okay, oh. good. Okay, good. Next. Oh, question, question, question. Okay. Have, you have you ever broken, broken, broken a bone? bone? Have you okay. ever broken a okay. bone? Okay, have you ever broken a bone? Okay, good, good. Next. Okay, question. Have you, have, you have you ever found some money? Have you ever found some money? Yes, have you ever found oh. some money? Okay, good, good question. Next. Okay. Oh, okay, question. 
Have you ever broken a horse? Ridden. Ridden. Have you ever? Ridden. Ridden, Ridden. yeah. Ridden. Ridden. Okay, uh -huh. a horse. Okay, let me see. To uh, I'm going to ask this question in general. And please, if you have ever ridden a horse, tell me, please. Okay, the question is, have you ever ridden a horse? Anyone? No. I have. Yes, 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 I have. Oh, oh wow. Yes, I have. Almost everyone. Okay, nice. Next. Next. Need a vuelta, yes. What about now? <laughs> have you ever kept? Have you ever? Ever kept? Kept. 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 A, a, diary. a diary. Okay, a diary. question for you. Question for you. Have you ever kept a diary? Yes. Yes or no? Yeah, of course I have. Okay, good. No. Okay, good. Okay, now let's do one more time. One more, but this other one is going to be a little bit different. Okay, uh, before we go, we are just practicing the questions that we uh, were practicing before. Um, let me see. I'm looking for the one that I need. Okay, it's right here. Okay. Let me see, it's right here. Okay. Okay, here I go. Let me see, let me see, okay, here I go. Okay, so we're gonna do something right now. We are gonna, but I would like you to read the sentence and tell me if it is A, B, or C. Look the question, I mean, look the sentence. They have gone to Scotland. A, B, or C? A. 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 Let me see. A. Leader. A. A. Good. Next. Was this known when you arrived? Mm -hmm. B. Continue. 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 An open fast, fast, fast. A, B, or C? A. Uh, Better B. B? B. No. No? C. Lord C. C? C. Yes. Fast continue. See, was it snowing? Next. She was a teacher when she was young. A, B, or C? B. 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 Nice. Next. I was working in the garden all day. A. B. 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 Uh, B. Uh, no. B. 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 Continue. Yes. Oh, B. B. R B. 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 A, B, or B. C? B. 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 Good. It wasn't cold yesterday. B. 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 Good. Next. They weren't always quarreling. A, B, or C? B. B. Good. Okay. So now you missed only one. Okay. You missed only one. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So let me see. 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 Oh, uh, okay. So go to the chat right now and tell me something. Uh, I mean, tell me an experience that you have obviously experienced when you were younger. Look, write sentences about your past experiences. You can start with the phrase, I have ever, or I have. Look my sentence about something that I had tried. For example, I have tried pupusas with mayonnaise. 
Ay, mayo. I guess that's the spelling, if I'm not wrong. I had tried pupusas with mayonnaise. See? What about you? Tell me something about uh, one of your experiences. Okay. Yeah, but tell me something uh, using the present perfect, Janet. For example, I have gone to, I have been to Zulután. Okay, let me see, Sandra. I had received a favor from an unknown person without, okay. I had tried Peliway. Mm -hmm. I had tried the lobster, good. What about places that you have visited? They can be. Okay. I have been to Niagara Falls. Okay, good. That's good. All right. So because of the time, I got to go. Okay, I got to go. You got, you got. Yeah, I have gone to Sultan. I have never been to uh, Guatemala. I have been to Guatemala. I have gone to Colombia. All right. So I will see you tomorrow. And we were practicing today how to express experiences, right? For example, I have uh, or in asking questions with have you ever. All right. So okay. thank you so much. Uh, thank you for it's coming. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. All right. So have okay. a great night. And I'll see you Good tomorrow. Night. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.